Hello and welcome back viewers. Uh, in this video lecture, we are going to cover the type conversion. So here I declared a just class, I have one data member and uh, this is my main function. So let's take an overview what is a type conversion. Uh, let's take uh, some few uh, variables. Let's take A as a 7 and uh, B as a 3. Okay, let's take a float variable f that is equal to a divided by b. Okay, now let's uh, print the value of uh, f. Uh, okay, so uh, what, what you, uh, you should expect over here, what would be the output? Let's see uh, by executing our program. Uh, okay, so here should be a comma, no mistake. Okay. So I'm expecting that uh, it's a two point something. So this is the automatically type conversion. So it's a three uh, seven divided by three. Three two is a six, and one is a remainder, and that is shred off because here it's going to do a automatically type conversion from these integer to float. So this is your automatically type conversion. Okay. So now. Mm. You can do in this manner also. Fine. So this is a type conversion when now uh, one type is converted to the another type. Okay. So now you can uh, do this thing uh, with the classes. Also. So in a class, I declared one data member A. So let's uh, declare an object for the A, let's uh, OBJ, OBJ is my object, uh, okay, if I'm going to assign OBJ equals to 5, let's see that uh, is it working or not, uh, let's execute this and it says that uh, there is some error, fine, we should assign some that uh, uh, over some assignment operator or uh, conversion of one argument into the constant A star, so that is a type conversion error. So, how we are going to uh, deal with that? Uh, so, here, whenever you are going to convert, so this is your uh, basic data type, basic data type, and you are going to convert to basic to class or user defined data type. Means, uh, this is assignment operator and you want to convert this numeric thing which is a basic data type to the user defined data type. So let's uh, make it more formal int a is equal to 5. So now a is my basic type. Here a is my basic type. Basic or inbuilt type. And here the object are uh, declared object of a class this is user define data type it's a user defined data type. okay so now i want to convert this uh, basic type to uh, the class type or a user defined type so now in normal circumstances it will not work so it will give you an error like type conversion this is a conversion error uh, so how to deal with that we are going to use a constructor method so here i'm going to define a constructor and that should be a parameterized constructor. Give some parameter over here. Uh, you can use initializer list or a simple method. So, okay, so here let's take another argument. I'll have to use this operator or initializer list. If the name is the same, uh, it would always you have to use an initializer list. Uh, if there is some x, so that would be uh, a equals to x. It's a simple implementation uh, with the constructor. Okay, so now let's uh, try to execute this. Okay, so now uh, this is an error no matching function. Okay, so you have declared the object first, so that's why you need one constructor over here. That is a very simple uh, constructor, so that you can declare the object without any parameter. Okay, so now uh, you can see I don't have any error over here. Now let's try to uh, look at the value uh, 
to the object. So here I'm going to write white show and in a show I'm going to write C out A and C out A. So in the last I'm going to call obj dot show. Let's see that our object is having something or not. Okay, so now you can see we are having a file. So uh, to, uh, <coughs> to convert your uh, basic type to the class type, we are going to use a constructor method. So constructor method here is our parametric constructor used to convert basic to class. Okay, so similarly you uh, you can uh, convert a object to a basic type. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, let me declare one more method that is input. So that I can initialize my uh, object with some uh, with that object. I'm going to initialize the data member with that. So I'm going to use a C in A. So I'm going to ask the value of a A. Uh, okay, so I'm going to extend that. Uh, here I'm going to declare int. Uh, let's take some variable var. Uh, okay. Here I'm going to create a second object. Let's uh, put in a one line. A. Uh, let's take a two. So this is my object second. Uh, and uh, with the o2 dot uh, input, I initialize the data member A with this method. Okay. So now here uh, I'm going to assign variable uh, which is a basic type uh, to o2. Means I'm going to convert here what I'm trying to convert uh, the class or user defined type class type to basic type and class type to basic type okay so now let's uh, try to run this and uh, you can again see that uh, we are having a conversion error so how we are going to make this possible so here uh, we are going to use an operator keyword for this so while converting your this class type to the basic type you are using to use operator now here our type is int means your resultant type is also int where is of type int so here i should write operator int so this is uh, you know very similar to that operator overloading uh, uh, syntax but instead of a uh, operator some operator like plus minus uh, insertion extraction operator so i'm going to use a data type over here fine uh, okay so now this is my function body uh, and uh, here, uh, okay, I'm going to sign that. So I'm going to use the return uh, a. And a is my integer. So now remember, do not uh, write any return type. You hadn't specify any return type in this case because whenever you specify this, the compiler automatically knows that uh, you are going to do it for the you know integer. Right? So no return type. So that uh, the syntax doesn't allow this. Okay, so let's uh, try to again compile this code. And, uh, okay, success. Okay, so now uh, let's execute this. So in the uh, previous case we are having a five, so now I'm going to give a new value like nine. Uh, okay, so no output was there, so I have to specify uh, some uh, variable. So I'm going to write C out uh, var. Fine. Uh, so now I'm going to give some value again uh, to the nine, uh, five nine. So we are having a nine. Okay. So in this way, uh, you can convert one type to another type, uh, like basic to class and class to basic. Uh, so in next lecture, we are going to learn that how we can uh, use the same concept to convert one class type to another class type. Thanks for watching and keep tuned to my YouTube channel and uh, subscribe uh, to my channel so that you will have uh, update uh, videos. Thanks for watching.